And let me ask you about the military situation in general. The one, we hear that 100,000 uh, Ukrainian army soldiers will soon be surrounded in what the Russians call a cauldron. Uh, I'm familiar, as you are, uh, with the concept of a cauldron. The German army that was destroyed at Stalingrad was caught in a cauldron. Basically, the two sides uh, of the Russian armed forces uh, come together and everyone caught in, in, in the middle is in a cauldron. How close is that cauldron to being achieved in your view? Well, I mean, I, I believe that it could be achieved tomorrow if the Russians are willing to take the casualties. Uh, but uh, Vladimir Putin uh, in his address last week um, made it clear that Russia is working on a timetable that is um, what he said very literate. And what he meant by that is by the book. Um, and that the goal isn't just to destroy the enemy, but to minimize casualties, uh, that there's no rush. He's not working under any artificial timelines. He doesn't care about what the West wants, what you want, what I want, what anybody wants. He cares about what's best for Russia. And that means that they are going to build up the forces necessary and then apply the firepower necessary and then slowly apply the the maneuver and i've watched uh first of all the 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 artillery that's being brought to bear right now is unlike anything the world's seen since the second world war um and it's intense concentrations of hell uh brought to earth and anybody in their path is killed or uh incapacitated uh there's no surviving this and the russians are literally going forward one grid at a time clearing it out and moving forward their tanks are not doing the World War II charge up the middle where any tank guns can knock them out. Uh, they're using terrain masking. Uh, it's very slow, but very careful. They locate the enemy. They move their tanks into a firing position using terrain to mask them, and then they kill the enemy.